Hi, I'm Mitch with Curry Technologies, and I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall the wheel on the EZIP trails. The first thing I need to do is shift into my highest gear, the smallest cog in the back, and then I'll disconnect the rear brake. Loosen this bolt, the 10 millimeter wrench on the back, and a 5 millimeter Allen wrench on this side. Next I'll loosen, Next I'll these loosen these nuts around nuts the chain, around the chain, chain tab. tensioner tab. Just a few turns, Just a few each. turns each. Clip the zip tie closest to the uh, motor wire here. And then loosen the axle nuts on each side. And make sure you hold the wheel up as you do this so that it doesn't fall out of the bike. This side I'm going to remove completely because of the derailleur protector. So now supporting the wheel and the motor, I'm free to move the derailleur and drop the wheel out of the frame. So if you need to change a flat tire, this is as far as you need to disassemble. Um, I'm free to remove the tire and change the tube without any further disassembly. So if I need to replace my drive chain at this point, I can first take off the axle nut and then use a 17 millimeter box wrench to remove this thin nut. You can remove the motor from the axle. Take off the chain. So to replace the chain, I'll just put it back onto the sprocket here. Put the motor back on. And start reattaching the hardware. So now I'll put the wheel back into the frame. Start by putting the chain around the free wheel in the first position. And then I'll lift the wheel into the frame. So I want to make sure that the axle is all the way seated in the dropout. There's no gap or space that would make the wheel crooked. And I'll just reinstall my axle hardware. When I tighten it, I want to make sure I'm lifting the wheel up at the same time so that it doesn't slip down and end up crooked. So before I tighten the other side, I'll need to put the motor chain back on. So if I spin the motor upwards like this, it makes it a lot easier. onto the bottom of the wheel sprocket and then roll it on. Now that I've got the chain on, I can start reinstalling the hardware. The 10 millimeter wrench and a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. So with everything loose like this, I can move the motor backwards and forwards to change the tension of the chain. So I'll push the motor back, and then using a cone wrench, 17 millimeter between the dropout and the motor plate, tighten the thin nut on the axle. And after I've tightened that, I want to feel the chain and make sure I can feel just a little bit of up and down play. It shouldn't be too tight or too loose 
and you can check by spinning the wheel and making sure there's no grinding noises. So now that the chain tension is set, I can tighten the outer axle nut. Um, make sure that you pull the wheel so that the axle sits fully into the dropout before tightening. Tighten the remaining motor mount bolts. These two nuts snug up against the plate that's welded to the frame. Now just tidy up the wiring. Put two or three zip ties back where they were before. So thanks for watching and I hope this was informative. If you have any more questions, feel free to call our customer service line at 1-800-377-4532. Thanks.